What's going on, fellas? Welcome to Mana Birds. Murilo Umbra right here. And today we're gonna play a league with a different deck. We're gonna play with Infect. We don't see this deck for a while. And let's see if he's 2024, the deck's still good or not. All right, let's go, enjoy the league. One of my followers asked me to play with Infect. He asked to play with a blue-green deck, but I am decided to play just with green, and I'm gonna to expand later why. Before we start the deck, deck is important to understand what is the Infect ability. So Infect is ability for the creature when deals damage to other creature is, is gonna be a minus one, minus one counter. And when deals damage to opponent is gonna be a poison counter. And when opponent gets 10 poison counters, he's dead. So we don't care about his life. If my creature is 1-1, one, one, it's gonna be just one poison counter. If it is 5-5, five, five, it's gonna be five poison counters. In this deck, we have 12 creatures, in fact. We have four Glistener Elf, it's a one mana, one one effect. Four Blind Mamba, it's a two mana, one one effect, and we can regenerate pain two. And two mirror, it's a two mana, one one effect. When it becomes blocked, it gets plus two, plus two in the end of the turn. So we're gonna try to kill opponent in turn two and turn three. We wanna try to make those creatures 10 10, 20 20, attack just one shot and kill the opponent. So turn one, if I cannot do the elf, I wanna do a Lotus Petal and play the mirror or the member if possible. That's why we play Flotus Petal and also just 17 Forest, any tapped land. To pump the creatures, we have Mutagenic Growth. We have 4 Unbligan. We need to understand this card. Until end of the turn, target creature gets plus 1 plus 1 for each super type. So that's mean. This guy right here is a creature, Phyrexian, Elf, and Warrior. So this card is gonna give more, it's gonna be plus four, plus four. If you play and target Mamba, it's gonna be plus three, plus three, because it's a creature, Phyrexian, Snake. And also Mir, artifact, creature, Phyrexian, Mir. So it's gonna be plus four, plus four. So it's gonna be one mana plus four, plus four, or one mana plus three, plus three. Also, we have this guy right here, Lanoir Elf. I'm sorry, Lanoir Augur. It's a creature 1 mana 0 3. When we sacrifice Lanoir Augur in our upkeep, target creature gets plus 3 plus 3 and trample until the end of the turn. Trample is going to be a really important ability. Also, for trample, we have Rancor. 1 mana, creature gets plus 2 plus 0. Everybody knows this card. We have Might of Old Croza. One mana, instant, plus two, plus two. If you play in our pick keep, it's gonna be, it's gonna be plus four, plus four. I'm sorry, in my main phase, it's gonna be plus four, plus four. What else to pump? This one here can be just one mana and you give like hexproof to the creature until the turn. Or if you play kicker with another one mana, it's gonna be plus four, plus four. So it's really strong. Two mana, probably plus four, plus four plus four and hex hexproof also to protect we have snake skin veil it's a one mana put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control and it gets hexproof and the last one that we need to talk is this guy right here apostle blessing it's it's gonna be one mana and two life and target creature you control against protection for artifacts or the color we choice this is a really good card, not just to protect, but when we attack, if you play against just a mono red, mono black, we can just give the protection and the creature is going to be unblockable. For the sideboard, we have three relics, two roof wolf, is another infected creature, it's a little slow with three mana, so it's a three mana two two. And when deals damage to other creature and the creature dies, we draw a card. If you play against control deck, 
like mono black with a lot of removals is interesting to bring more creatures we have Rentroth to kill the opponent's creature maybe he's playing with standard better we need to kill it also that's why you have two gut shots right here another cop of snakeskin veil to protect for natural's claim destroy target artifact or encantment and its controllers gains for life and we don't care about gain life because we're gonna give, we're gonna kill with poison plus two copies of apostolos blessing so he asked me to play with a blue green deck because we have a new card for the last collection it's almost one mana and target creature is gonna be four three until the end of the turn and another card in the main deck we have blue it's a two mana one one in fact and this is really good because it's unblockable i was thinking about to use this card because unblockable is a really nice ability in this deck but i want to really kill in turn two or three i don't want to lose the turn one with tapped land and a lot of times in turn three we need to put three spells in the creature so the two colors of mana can be a problem that's why i decide to play just mono green fact we don't have a lot of this deck in the internet i'm not sure because it's bad or people don't want to play with um if you play against mono blacks right it's gonna be a really problem it's not foul it's gonna kill the deck i know it um, mono reds we need to be careful after sideboard we have the end festivities they have both and have a lot of mono reds in the meta game and i really don't know how it's gonna be if the opponent play just with maybe four bolts and two chain lights we have 12 creatures and a lot of protection maybe you can handle it so let's see there's a deck i hope you enjoy the league this hand is what do we need we have elf rancor we have vines to protect if you need the elf also cannot ask for something better than that right inspector oh that was good we play one lanoir augur another one so you know how the card works we need sacrifice in or pick up so when he passes the turn we sacrifice my pick up it's gonna be seven seven another land we play rancor is gonna be nine and if he block with both creatures it's gonna be nine poison if you block just one he's dead that's it turn three first game and he's dead damn that was fast nice all right so we bring four natural clam and one run trove we take out the mutagenic growth and one vine natural clam we don't care about win life and one ran trove just in case if has the standard better there's a really really bad card to play to play against us mr kiku tz you lost in one minute gentlemen <laughs> probably upset probably he thinking who plays with affinity what deck is that all right is a little slow well we find the elf we find our turn one creature and he's not playing with azorius affinity it is the jeskai affinity natural's claim that is good let's see if he has a boat yes galvanic blast perfect 
so we give plus four plus four one mana jesus turn two seven counters do you have another one he has another one it's all right and you're gonna see the power of mir with anchor that is so strong Frogmite, Spectre, and that is funny, but Affinity is not playing with Frogmite anymore. It's a free choo choo, and we're not playing with. I mean, we had so many options. So we attack. He's gonna block with both. We can kill Frogmite, and he's dead if he doesn't have any other Galvanic Blast. Do you have another one? We play two mana, destroy you. But why he didn't now wait for plus two plus two and kill my mirror? Oh, because it's gonna be just a three, it has to be four. Okay, I gotcha, gotcha, open it. You did right. You did right, but maybe it's not enough. Do you have a sweep? Do you have end the festivities? If you have, it's gonna be bad for me. Novice Inspector. If he has all the glitters, can be bad for me. Mir. All right, find another mir. So we attack with everything. He probably gonna block. Double block. Okay. So we kill one. And Mir is gonna be just 1-1 one, one because a puzzle counter. Mm -hmm. And I'll play the other Mir Hancor. But, ah, I didn't play Hancor because I wanna have regenerate for for Mamba just in case. And he is desperate. If you find any pump, he's dead. Alright, so we put Hancor in Mamba. Attack. He's gonna block. We regenerate. And he's gonna have another poison counter. He's gonna nine. And if he plays any 1-1 one, one or any inspector, he's dead. He's dead. Because you have Rentroth. Ornithopter. You see Mamba with Rancor is so strong also because you can regenerate. That's all what we need. So we target Mamba and Novice Spectre. They fight and the extra damage goes to the opponent. 10 poison counter, he's dead. Nice. First game, 2-0. Deck cannot be 100%, but it's not that bad. All right, we're moving to five, but at least we have forest 
and Lotus Petal, so we do turn one mirror. And opponent also Mulligan to five. Mr. Clamengo, Clamigo, show me your face. Gates, the blue red gate. All right, let's go. So he has a gate, so he plays with prismatic strands probably. And they cannot protect for artifact. So that's a really good point for us. Really, really good one. Chumana, all right. We don't care about prismatic strands, just how I said. Unfortunately, we did find the pump to kill in turn three. All right, he blocks. Plus two, plus two. And another plus two, plus two because it's blocked. So it's going to be seven, five. And five counters for him. He's going to eight poison counters. I hope he doesn't have a boat. If he has a boat, we need to find another land. Ooh, we don't care about win life, my man. And he's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. Nothing he can do. He has just a one in color mana. Doesn't work with artifact creatures. 11. Nice. So we know he's going to bring some removals. We need to bring some to protect. So we got two Apostle of Blessing, one Ram Troth, and two Gut Shot. Because probably he's going to bring the standard better. We take out Mutagenic Growth and two Snakeskin Veil. All those five cards that we took out is really good cards, but we need to take out something. And this hand is nice. What are we gonna take out? Go slow. We take out Lot's Petal because we have turn one Lanawar Augur. I do turn two Mir. Perfect. But I believe I'm still doing turn one Lanawar Augur because next turn we do Lot's Petal. If he has a boat or something, we can use and begin to target the mirror so he's not gonna die for both but it's gonna die anyway if he has the journey to nowhere probably this list is using journey that's what i think right gate has three mana specter one red up maybe a boat no so he's dead. One, four. We have a perfect 10. Turn three, perfect 10 again. Because he's going to block, but me is going to be plus two, plus two. So it's the same. Another turn three kill. Wow. I'm kind of surprised. I'm going to tell you. And we also flooded because our lands plus lots of is too much. Mr. Calamingo, thank you. See you next time, my brother. Oh, wow, we are 2 0 and 2 0 and 2 0 of the other games. We are on the play. He, uh, he is on the draw. Oh, he's on the play and we are on the draw. Mr. Awalk7. All right, that is what we don't want to see. A mono black. Mono black is terrible for us because he has Isna Fault and a lot of removals. Look us. Look us. All right, we play one, two, swing for five. 
and that's it if he has another removal it's gonna be hard he doesn't oh wow he doesn't have luck because he doesn't have all right we bring two root wolf two apostle in blessing one snake snake skin veil and take out mutagen can two lots petal we bring more protection and more creatures because we know he's gonna have a lot of removals that's why i took out lots petal because i don't want to rush and play more creatures fast he's gonna removal and you know it's gonna be two cards for one no lands no good we mulligan All right, there's a keep. Take Might of Old Croza. We try to keep the highest number of creatures you can play. Good draw. We need to find a land now. We play Mana Elf and Pass. If he has just one removal, he play wrong. He might have snuff out. Or he didn't mistake. Oh, he has snuff out. Okay. Well played. Well played opening. Play two mana, draw a card. Another mirror. We are on the game, baby. Is Lobra on the game? Okay. Yo, this card is so good. If you play against mono red, so nice. You kill one creature and you have a 1-1 one, one to block. This black green gardens, it's a lot of draws. The late game is the best, is the best deck in the format for a late game. Do this, all right? Chow vines. We cannot protect our creatures anymore. And he attack. He attack with a 1-1. One, one. He's gonna attack. Probably he's gonna block. He doesn't block. Oh wow. Okay, that's why, that's why. Four cards on hand and Crypt Rat. That is one of the cards that I don't wanna see. Nothing to do, you have to play Mirror because you don't have a removal for Crypt Hat. He draw three cards back to five and have a map token and with a map token is gonna put a plus one plus a one counter in crypt rat so he can kill my creatures forever if i'm not wrong yes that's why he did and that's it we cannot win this game anymore He has a Crypt Rat with Pestilence, almost. Kill everything. We're gonna 13. Just concede Murillo, that is, that's it. We cannot win this game anymore. And there's the price when you play with this kind of deck. Okay, so we're gonna bring some removals for for the rats. Then we take out a not the more lots petal and mutagenic growth. It is the best way to side. I'm not sure, but let's try it. I like the lots petal, 
but we need to find a space. All right, this hands too is ah, we didn't have enough lands in game one. In hand one, hand two, we don't have any creature. We have to move it to five. To four. We move it to four, my man. That's really bad. But we try. Let's try. I believe it's going to be impossible, but. All right. Blight, Blight Mamba. We play first mirror. In the file, play artifact, draw a card. We play mirror again. He doesn't have another removal in hand. Drawing sorrow. Maybe, just maybe, is a chance. If he played drawing sorrow, he doesn't. Or he played maybe just to scry. Or because he has another one. Wow, 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 wow. And I think the gardens, this black and green, it's really, really good in the meta right now. Planes against affinity, against any deck that opponent has a lot of creatures, is in a good position and is really good in a late game also. We just concede. All right, two one. Two one. Luffy do Chapéu de Palha. É meu brother, como você está? He's a really good player. He has been playing with this mono red for a while, I know. And our deck, our hand is really slow. And those mutagenic growth is a lot of damage. It's good to save. Oof, Kudota. Alright, he has a perfect hand. If he has now a bushwalker, the hand is perfect. And you know, when you play against mono red. Oh wow, and the festive is the main deck. Hmm, you think, huh? <laughs> when you play against mono red turn one goblin bushwalker turn one toby rider turn two kudota turn three bushwalker with a removal how can you win nothing to do there is no card you withdraw that can give five damage so it's gonna be no more than nine and he kill us next turn. Swing for one. If he has just three lands in hand, maybe can win. Maybe. Experimental synthesizer. With that. He swings for four plus one for Voldarin Epicur is totally five. All right, buddy, your hand was too strong for me. So we bring it to Apostle of Blessing, one Snake Skin Veil to protect for boats and end the festivities. We took out one Mutagenic Growth. Maybe it's a mistake because we know he has end the festivities and two Lotus Petal. Let's go. Hand is amazing. We do mirror turn one. And if he doesn't have a boat, we can win. Because Mutagenic Growth is going to protect for any other spell. Like Alvanic Blast. Chain Light. Yes, he has. So he plays with Bolt, 
que é o Vanity Blast and Chainlight. Plus and the Festivities. It's like 14 removals. It's a lot. We still have a chance. Ok, muita gente growth. We're going to 17 and save our Mamba. And let me tell you, we can win this game. No more. What I can say. Again, Kudota, he had three removals. We still can win this game. All right, he had four removals in hand. Too much to handle. Rockless Impulse found two mountains. If you don't, you don't find the creature next turn, we're dead. I mean, we're already dead, right? We're gonna have five. That's it. GG, my brother. See you next game. Okay, we are 2-2. Two, two. He came so strong. Both of the turns. Damn. Cabrita. We mulligan to 6 and hand is good. Show me your face, my brother. We play... We misclick. We didn't play off. Delver. Mono Blue Delver. Mamba with Rancor is gonna be amazing against Mono Blue Delver. Because he doesn't have a lot of removals. And I don't think other control decks is using Delver. Like red and blue or black and blue. So we play land first because probably he has a spell pierce on hand. Then we play Rancor. Wing with three. He's gonna seven. He doesn't have removals, so we have a really good chance. Just a snap. But counter is a problem, of course. If he has a snap, he has a chance. If not, it's gonna be hard. He didn't attack, so he might have a snap. If not, it makes no sense. Or makes sense. Makes sense. It's still. We attack just with Mamba. He's not gonna block. Oh, wow. I didn't use the mutagenic growth because I was checking if he had the snap or not, but he doesn't. He could be dead this game. Tove Scour. Four spells in the graveyard. He, pay, he needs to pay all three mana to play Tolarian Tower and he did. So he's dead now. Oh, he just concede? Perfect. 1-0. So let's bring Apostle of Blessing for his snap and also attack. And three relics for Tolarian Terror. Mutagenic growth is not the necessary in this game. Neither Lot's Petal. I don't want to do land Lot's Petal and he counter my creature. It's going to be two cards per one. Right, we have just one creature, so if he counter, we are in trouble. But we still have another 11 to draw. He may play with six or eight counters. Then he can counter my mirror. Four counter spells. What else? Amazing. There was a good draw. So let's take out the first counter of his hand. What? 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 
Equine Truth. Perfect. So we know he doesn't have a counter on hand. Let's play again. And he didn't find a land. I don't want to play Rancor now because he can have another Equine True for Snap and want to use Apostle and Blessing. That's happened. And also he may have Spell Pierce. Protection from blue. Lauren revealed another Iceland. All right, he found a snap. Let's try another mirror. He probably doesn't have another snap on hand because he played Equine Truth before snap. Do I want to play another mirror also? Because he just played two Equine Truth. I don't believe he has another one. Well, a lot of chances that he may die next turn. Depends if he has a... Let's start with Hanker. If he has a Spell Pierce or not. What else he can have? A Dispel? All right, this spell, mm -hmm. no problem. So let's play another Might of Old Hoss Crosser and Spell Pierce. Okay. So we can attack with both or just with the Rancor one. He's prob probably he's going to block just with one card on hand. Plus two, plus two. We can play and begin now. And the, the rest of the four is going to be in his face. He's going to four poison counters. And with no creatures to block. Just one card on hand. Two now. Tough Scour. Snap. It's alright. Zero cards on hand. He's dead. Three, two. And two victories was two, zero. Nice. Wow. Let's see where we have. You know me. I always open the treasure for you guys. And the last times, we didn't have any luck with the treasures. Let's open it. And five play points. 
we still without luck it is what it is and don't do it do not open treasures we did three two with in fact in 2024 and i like the idea for lots petal it's really important to do some a creature in turn one if you do not do elf we did amir or mamba and we start going hard with rancor and another pumps and i like this list that i created and we didn't have problems with the lands normally that's why i didn't want to play with the blue deck blue green just with forests and i still think that is the best option if you want to play in fact if you play with you know green blue can be some problems with the colors of the lands and it's gonna be slow also because you have tapped land we lost for a, a, a blue green garden and what i can say we have a Poison blessing we have more creatures but the deck is really strong and with a lot of removals nothing to do we did our best and we won one game at least mono red we lost to zero he came so strong we could do nothing and um, if you wanna play some cards to win some to win some life go for it you can but i believe the idea of this deck it's play fast and kill fast kill in turn three we didn't have luck he had the second game four removals that was too much and game one he was so strong bushwalker turn one kudota turn two turn three has a removal and a bushwalker you know nothing to do that mono red is one of the best decks in the format three two the deck is interesting i don't want to say the deck is good but it's, it was really interesting and i'm happy with the result i hope you like it Fellas, if you like the league, please click right here and subscribe to the channel. Really important to me. If you want to see another league, please click right here to the side. Enjoy it. See you next time.